The region of Kaunas is one of the largest and most densely populated municipalities in Lithuania. It is located around the city of Kaunas, in the heart of Lithuania. It is easily accessible as the most important roads and railways intersect here, and the International Air Gateway meets and sees off planes in Karmelava. It is a region where the three big Lithuanian rivers flow, Nemanas, Neris and Nevejis. Kaunas Lagoon further adds to their glory. Almost one-third of the area is covered by forest. The region of Kaunas, which is open to innovation and the quality of modern life, is experiencing rapid urbanization. Along with the renewal of old residential areas, modern residential areas too are emerging. Leisure, sports and wellness facilities are being developed. New spaces for children are being created and a modern educational, cultural and social services infrastructure is underway. Special attention is given to senior citizens' needs and to help those who need it most. Young families are settling in the region and communities are becoming more active. What's more, the region of Konas is among the leaders in Lithuania according to the number of construction permits issued. The region of Kaunas is distinguished by the rapid development of business areas, job creation and foreign investment. In 2015, the number of new companies in the region was 10 times higher than the average in Lithuania. The areas for business in the region appeal specifically to logistics, transport, industrial and agro-service companies. Well-known Lithuanian international companies locate to the Kaunas Free Economic Zone situated near the airport. It is also worth mentioning that one of the country's three largest international airports, situated in the Kaunas district Karmielava, for the time being, is the only airport that can accept any type of aircraft, no matter what size and purpose. For this reason, here, unlike anywhere else in Lithuania, the world's largest cargo and military aircraft land. Although Karmielava still remains a major cargo airport, the passenger flow is growing rapidly. Each year, 800,000 travelers choose to travel through this airport. For many tourists, Karmielava becomes the gateway to getting acquainted with Lithuania. The logistics park in Ramoche is also expanding rapidly and there are large agro-projects located in the village of Kumpe, which is situated near the main highway in Lithuania. Business also flourishes in the parishes of Galeva, Alciene, Bringode, Babte and Ushliadze. Moreover, modern farms and companies that are world famous for innovations such as Elinta, Garlita or Aconitum also thrive in the region. A good geographical location, optimal communications, a highly qualified labour force, a favourable municipal tax policy and a positive attitude towards business encourage business people to invest in the region of Kaunas. In the region of Kaunas, agriculture and forestry have long-standing traditions. There is an excellent educational basis for preparing specialists in different agricultural areas. The region has the only agricultural higher education school in the country, Alexandra Stulginskis University. In Bamte, there is the Institute of Horticulture, and Girionis is famous for the Lithuanian Research Centre for Agriculture and Forestry and the largest landscape park in Lithuania. Every spring, Alexandra Stulginskis University invites farmers to the largest exposition in the Baltic states, Karpasiesi, and in autumn, the exposition of forestry, hunting and environmental equipment, Sprendi Moratas, takes place. The fantastic scenery in the region of Kaunas attracts tourists and those who enjoy spending their leisure time actively. The region is therefore often referred to as the Green Emerald of Pakone. You can climb 22 hills, visit villages which have existed for hundreds of years, resorts of the interwar period, Kolotova and Kachergine, explore the historical and cultural heritage and admire the natural wonders in three regional parks and 15 reservoirs. Those who love green tourism can enjoy cycle paths on both sides of the river Nemunas. In the future, tourists will be able to cycle from the old town of Kornas to Kolotova, cross the river and come back cycling on the left bank, passing through the historical Zapiškis and Kachirgine. The small tourist roundabout of Pakone near Zapiškis and Kulautova will be connected with a cable car over the river Nemonas. During the maritime season, 
river travel becomes very popular in the region. Small tourist ships can moor alongside the piers of Kaczerginę, Kulautova, Rodonvaris and Zapiskis. Near Vilkia, there is the only river ferry service across the river Nemonas in Lithuania. And if you want to swim in a real lagoon or climb an artificial rock, a visit to Yadagone is an absolute must. The region combines different dialects of the Lithuanian language and cultural heritage. Traditional festivals bring the residents together and entertain visitors. An international kite festival takes place in Zapiškis every spring and it attracts thousands of participants and spectators. This kite festival, titled Tarpžemes ir Dangos, or Between Heaven and Earth, has already given Zapiškis the name of the capital of kites. Kulautova, the picturesque pine forest near the flowing Nemonas River with its sandy beaches, attracts many holidaymakers. The lush surroundings fascinate countless visitors. The Bard Singing Poetry Festival, titled Akatsiu Alea, also referred to as the Acoustic Woodstock, has become the business card of Kulautova. Rodonvaris. The cherished traditions of culture and art are continued in a 16th century noble residence situated in Rodonvaris. Under the rule of the Count Tishkevich, the residence has built up a vast collection of paintings and rare books, as well as exotic plants and animals. This is particularly important because of its deep history. This is a Renaissance castle. There are no other buildings dating back to this time around the region of Kaunas. The castle is considered to be Renaissance because it was first mentioned in the privilege of Sigismund Augustus, which had given these lands, formerly known as Vilkia, to the love of his life, Barbora Radvileite. The first foundation of the castle was laid out in the 16th century. As the Kaunas district municipality took over the Rodonvaris estate, during the following two years, some European Union-sponsored projects were realized, due to which the castle was renovated and the greenery and flowers were restored. The region's tourism and business center is run in the former ice house of the estate, and there is a charming restaurant in the conservatory, restored by private investors. The impressive Rodonveris Manor Stud Farm building has become an incubator for the fine arts, inspiring many young artists. There are a number of exhibitions under the vaults of the manor and in the park spaces. Besides that, weddings are held here and other events of state and district importance take place. Statehood Day celebration, Harvest Festival Autumn Sambar, the international event Night of Museums and the Land Art Festival Land Art and so on. In Obelinas, you will find a cozy homestead of the naturalist Tardas Ivanauskas. He is considered to be one of the pioneers of biology in Lithuania who created the Lithuanian biology terminology. Although the most significant work of the scientist is considered to be a book about Lithuanian birds, Ivanauskas was a prominent botanist. The corner of nature that he established is beautiful at any time of the year, but especially in spring, when the apple trees are in full bloom. This is another unique tourist attraction in the Kolnas district. But there are not only apple trees at Obelina, there are nearly 50 varieties of pears, a vast number of plums and cherries, as well as over 300 species of trees and shrubs. Antanas and Jonas Yushkos Museum at Vilkia. Antanas Yushka was a priest and folklorist. Along with his brother Jonas, he contributed to the enhancement of Lithuanian culture. Thanks to the contribution of the brothers, there are thousands of Lithuanian folklore pieces available in modern times. There were many legends surrounding the life of the priest Antanas Yushka, his dedication and altruism. There are even stories in modern times. The director of the museum told us that the first copy of the very first songbook made by Yushka was taken to the United States by a priest that was on board the infamous Titanic. After a hundred years following the Titanic disaster, Lithuania received the news that due to the efforts of the famous American director James Cameron, there were some items raised from the bottom of the ocean, and one such item was the copy of the songbook. In Yadagone, international dogcart racing is held. The Pokone region is famous for the female basketball team Hotran Sirenos, handball players in Garlava, horse riders, wrestlers and masters at shooting. 
while fans of motor racing meet to Kachagina, where there is the only racetrack in Lithuania called Nemono Jedas. This object, situated at the side of Kaunas, will soon meet changes and renovation. The Kaunas City and District Municipalities will take care of this unique Lithuanian racing location that fell into bankruptcy due to the changing owners. It is planned that with mutual efforts, the track will be renovated, as well as the safety of the location, since the circuit that was built over 50 years ago has not been adapted to the power of modern vehicles. Experts have appreciated the efforts of the municipality of the region of Kolnos. Over the past five years, while compiling the index of Lithuanian municipalities, specialists from the Lithuanian Free Market Institute have recognized Kaunas as the best out of 54 municipalities four times. For achievements in education and social protection and for enhancing ties with fellow countrymen living abroad. Last year, Kaunas was awarded the Oksina Krivule Prize for the most rapid business development. The region of Kaunas is the perfect place to live, work and invest.